Today I'm going to be teaching my cousin Kathy how to cook a spaghetti squash. Kathy is 40 years old and she's always enjoyed cooking for her family, but she's recently suffered from a right cerebrovascular accident that's left her unable to perform these meaningful occupations. She ignores people and objects on her left side, so it's going to be important that I make sure all of the necessary items are placed on her right. Also, I need to make sure that I cue her whenever she needs to notice something that's on her left. She shows poor judgment of her abilities and she denies that she has a diagnosis. Sometimes she can endanger herself by doing normal activities but with a diminished capacity. It's going to be important for me to monitor her with any knives or sharp objects for safety. She has visual spatial dysfunction and has a hard time associating parts that make up a whole. Her visual memory is reduced and sometimes she forgets where things are located. As a therapist, I can help her with this by putting a roadmap or a description list on the cabinets in her kitchen so she can find where she's placed items. She uses a quad cane and she also has limited ability to the left side for gross stabling assist. She has no use of her hands or fingers for fine motor control on her left side. All the necessary items will be gathered prior to the activity and placed on Kathy's right side, and I will also be scaffolding whenever necessary. Or you can talk, I'll just cut it. Okay. Um, okay, so since we've gathered all of our supplies, the first thing that we need to do is wash the squash. So we just need to carry it to the sink and rinse it. You just set it down and run water over it and then just rub it with your hands just to walk, to make sure it's nice and clean. Now we're just going to take it over, we're going to grab a paper towel, and we're just going to dry it. So I can, I'll help you with that part if you want. You just set it down on the cutting board. That'll be fine. There you go. And you just wipe it off with the paper towel and dry it. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to cut the squash in half. So we need to grab our knife, the big knife, and we're just going to cut it in half widthwise. Make sure to be careful with the knife. Okay, so I'm, if you can step back for a second, I'll position it for you. Just don't touch me with the knife. And I want you to just cut it this way, straight across. And you might want to try and hold it with the other hand just to stabilize it. Okay, so since the squash is clearly, it's a little hard, so it's a little, it's not very easy to cut in half. What we can do to grate this down is we can put it in the microwave or bake it in the oven just for a little bit to soften it up. So we'll put it in the microwave to soften it. All right, so you can stop. Okay. So if you want, if you could just place it in the microwave, we'll just put it in there for about maybe like four minutes or so. Okay, so now that we have microwaved the squash for a little bit um, and let it cool so we can touch it, we're just going to try and cut it again so we can finish cooking it. So here, I can help you. I'll help you. And just stabilize. If you can stabilize the squash with that hand, um, we're going to cut it in half widthwise. And usually if you just get it started, once you cut it enough, you can just crack it in half. I 
can help you with that. Okay. Okay, so now that we've cut our squash in half, what we're going to do is with our big spoon, we're going to scoop out all the mushy, gushy stuff inside and we're just going to throw it away. So I have a spoon for you right, so if you look over on this side, turn for me, there's a spoon that's right here. And I'll just make sure that I put all of her supplies on the right side of her body because she'll ignore the left. Okay, and if she's having problems with any visual spatial things, you can just kind of change things. Around. So we'll just flip this over for you, just so you can see that there's a little, there's a few more seats right there. There you go, that's clean enough. So now what we're going to do is if you can just, you can place the spoon down, and we're gonna put both of the spaghetti squash halves onto our baking sheet. Okay, next we have to put some oil on it so it won't burn. So just how it is, if you, we're just gonna take some olive oil, about a tablespoon or two per squash and rub it all on the inside of the squash. I'll hold this for you. Just drizzle a little bit on the inside. Okay, and now what you're going to do is just rub it all over the inside and some on the outside so it won't stick. You can just put it like the outside, like right on this part. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now flip both of them so the bottom is face down. Okay, and now you can wash your hands so you can get all that oil off of it. Since our oven is preheated, we're just going to place it in the oven and we're going to let it cook for about 45 to 55 minutes. So I'll help you with it because it's kind of heavy. So we'll just open up the oven and put in the squash. we can just clean up and wait for the squash to finish. Due to Kathy's diagnosis, we had to grade down many aspects of this activity. We added item lists to the cabinet so she knew where items would be located. We pre-gathered the items and placed them all on the right side. We also cued her whenever necessary and we softened the squash by putting it in the microwave so it would be easier to cut. We also scaffolded in order to help her with these activities. An alternative method to grade down could also be using a crock pot to cook the squash. 
As Kathy progresses and regains some cooking abilities, we can begin to grate up the activity. She can mince garlic to add to the recipe and I can slowly remove some of the assistance that I've been providing.